ericmothersmother.com. Let's take a look at the cryptocurrencies and I want to discuss the short term charts here. By the way, this is for trading for March 21st, 2018. That is the time and we're going to take a look at three cryptocurrencies in this video. We're going to take a look at BTC. That's where it's trading at. And then we'll take a quick look at EOS and that's where it's trading at. And we'll take a look at Ethereum. Now all of them seem to be suggesting one thing. So let's take a look at the short term charts. And this is pretty much for those who trade short term. Otherwise, if you don't trade this thing short term, there's no need to even consider this video. But anyway, let's take a look at Ethereum and I'm going to use the four hourly chart. So for hourly chart here, you can see that if we take the highs of the RSI, right now Ethereum is coming in contact with this top side resistance line right there. That is going to present a challenge. So, of course, two things can happen here. Either we continue showing resistance, suggesting a short term pullback is imminent or or it is not out of the realm of possibility that we can actually clear that resistance. But right now it looks like it is struggling to hold above that line. So we can default to assuming that this is resistance and that the cryptos are due for another pullback, yet another pullback. In fact, if we zoom in here for Ethereum versus the dollar, if we take a look at this break here of those highs, we can see that if we extend this line, we have uniformity coming in play right here. And of course, this is based on my own method, which I call uniformity. I'm going to provide a link to this method in the description of the video. So be on the lookout for this method that I call uniformity. Pretty much the way we use this is we use the chart itself to tell us what to do. So we can see that this was the RSI break off those highs. We are coming back to test that level. Failure to hold above that level suggests that we are going to stall. If Ethereum is to move higher, it needs to clear that line by moving above it. That is also a possibility, but right now it looks like it is struggling. So we can assume that the next meaningful direction is down. Keep in mind when we drop below, if and when we drop below RSI 50, expect a big down candle or a big down movement as we move below 50. When we move below 50, it would be similar to this period here when we moved below RSI 50 for this big down candle. Let's take a look at EOS and we can see EOS had a nice recovery recently off the lows here, but I think it is coming here and seemingly stalling. We might be forming a wedge that might break and I'll explain why here in a second. So there's a wedge developing here. This is a bearish wedge because should we break below that, we can expect a severe drop. Now this resistance comes here with the RSI 69.1 rejection. So the RSI tried to move above 69.1. It was rejected. Of course, it's been sideways, but I think there's more. And now this resistance here that we see actually comes from the high. So if we move out or zoom out, we can see coming off the highs here, this is where the RSI broke down. So again, we use our uniformity method. You can see here we have uniform activity rejection of the highs there. Uniform activity rejection of the highs there. And then here we hit that line. Looks like short term resistance. So right now, I would, 
I would look upon this as being a level where we are going to start seeing EOS struggling because it's already given us a resistance on the hourly chart here, the four hourly chart. I might also add if you take the top side of this chart, you can see that we made contact with the same line here. So the RSI has already confirmed resistance and price is going to follow because RSI is a measure of sentiment. Sentiment tends to precede price action. Now let's take a look at BTC. So first let's take a look here. We can see that Bitcoin has done well. Bitcoin versus the dollar. Off the lows here. Nice recovery over the last 2-3 days. Now we can see here visually we are already forming what looks like a triple top on the 4 hourly chart. So that is already starting to form potential resistance. If I show you the MACD, you'll see that the MACD is already showing potential for negative divergence. We had an improvement in prices here. MACD is already coiling down. That's not good. Let's bring back the RSI. If we zoom out on the RSI, if we take the highs here, there's a line connecting recent RSI highs, connects the highs here, that high, and now it looks like it is already showing three times rejected on this level here. Keep in mind where the RSI is trading happens to be around the 61.8 level. Also, we can see that where it broke down recently so the RSI broke down here this break coming off those highs we take that information and draw our uniformity resistance line and you can see that we are already responding to this line with all this rejection so if you consider all those things taking place here it looks like more than likely we are looking at BTC also potentially looking to coil down in fact if we add some analysis here on the MACD just like we saw for EOS and let me zoom in here you can see that we've been moving higher short term that is but the MACD is making a negative divergence. Again, that negative divergence just adds to this emerging picture that more than likely the cryptocurrencies are due for another short-term pullback. Eric Mother with Mother.com and let me leave you here with the current live trading for the cryptocurrencies and the three we just discussed are trading here with BTC trading at about 9,025, Ethereum trading at 572, and EOS trading at 610 or 6.10. Eric Mother, mother as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, a C, S, mwah. Yeah.